This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Do this. Try using this simple ordering app. Woohoo, we're making Uber Eats. The total total with tax function has a bug. Find and fix it. Add comments for each function using the format below. Ah, this is what we did in uh, college. All right, let's hit run. I want a hamburger because I'm healthy. I want a fries because I'm healthy. I want a cheeseburger because I'm healthy. I don't want a veggie burger because I'm healthy. And a fountain drink. Total. And total with tax. Oh, yep, it does. Set text value is not defined. Oh, the parameter. Got it. All right. So add comments. So first, let's fix total tax. Total tax. Total tax. Total tax. Total cost. Total tax. All right. And it said... Sorry, set value. Is it because the return statement? Set text parameter value is undefined. Oh, and notice the red dot here, right? Why is it here? Because look, look what I just did. Total with tax. But where's the red dot? Let me go. It's here. And that's because the error occurs here, right? This function runs fine. It says, fine, here's a function. Here's the amount. All right, total is equal to that. Let me return nothing, right? It just says return. And so then it spits out up here where it is asked to run, right? Set the text output, output label, which is this. So it grabs this and says, okay, we're going to shove stuff in here. And then what am I going to put in there? Total with tax, total cost. And the computer says, what's that? Total with tax, smack. Amount, what's amount? Total cost, what's total cost? Whatever value. Oh, wow, we run a function to get the total. Yeah, okay, cool. Fun uh, function call within a function call. All right, so then we total with tax, and then we say total cost. What's total cost? Oh, okay, well, first I have to execute that function because to get the parameter, to get the argument, you have to do this. So it's going to output, it's going to grab the output label, and it's going to shove in the total with tax. All right, but what's the total cost first, right? Because to run total with tax, what do I need? Total cost. Oh, run total cost. Zoop. And it goes through here, and it looks like we loop through. We use a for loop starting at index 0 all the way up to index 5, because that's the amount, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that people could order. So all the way to index 5. And it says if it's checked, so if this box is checked, we add the get number, the cost, to the um, total. Oh, and notice these are cost four, cost three, cost two. So that's what cost is. What are we going to get? We're getting the number from the screen, cost four, cost, and we're iterating through those. All right, so we're grabbing those, get that number, add it to total, and total is going to be the total amount. Then we return that number total, however much we just added. Boom. So now the total goes here, and it says, okay, I have my argument. I have what's going in for my parameter. So total with tax runs with the calculated amount. It goes down here and runs total with tax with that amount that was calculated in this function. It drops in and says, all right, I have in this new variable named total. What's it going to, it doesn't see this total because it's in a different function. It's going to say new variable named total. What's that going to be equal to? Well, it's going to be equal to amount, that value that was passed in, plus amount. So make it equal to whatever amount used to be equal to, plus amount times whatever the tax rate is, which here is apparently 0.07 which would be nice for sales tax, considering where I am, but that's fine. Uh, so it's 0 0.07 for tax. Great, we have the total all calculated, we added the tax to it, and then we return nothing. And so then the computer says, we return nothing, and it goes back up here and says nothing. And the computer says, error. We just asked to get the text, what text, the output label, we then calculated the total, once we had the total, we ran the total with tax function, and we returned nothing. So we said set text of the output label nothing, blank, null. And it's confused. Why would we do that? That makes no sense. We did nothing for what? And what we need to do to fix this is return our value. We did all this work, but we didn't return it. So I need to go in here and, oh, do they not have a function? All right, I'll do my own. And instead of just the word return, you need return total. We want to return all that hard work we just did. All right. So that should take care of that. But we aren't done. Mm, no, thank you. 
total total attacks okay uh and we could do some rounding if we were wanted to get real fancy but we're not done because we do need to look at the importance of comments and if you are interested in doing this type of stuff in college you will see more of this add comments for each function using this format function purpose parameter name return type so and what they're saying by that function purpose parameter name return type calc and slash slash is a comment so calculate total before tax boom slash slash and was there a format parameter name type in curly brackets okay is there a parameter here nope so i'm good return type is there a return type yep and what is it it's total so i will say total and then in curly brackets i'm going to put the type and my total will be a float or you might say number i'm not sure where you have gotten with your teacher but a float is just a decimal number or it's also it could be a double um all right and then its purpose is holds the sum of the costs something like this okay now how about this one down here total with tax well that's amount so we have a parameter um calculates the total with tax all right slash slash and then my parameter is amount and what is it well amount will be equal to a float or a number it's going to be whatever this value was so i'll say float or double depends on how you're going to word that and then it's going to be equal to a float let me just see their format one more time explanation of the parameter total before tax okay and then finally i'm gonna say total because that's what i'm returning and what's my explanation of that well first total will be also a float or a double or whatever you're wording it as and i will say it is total amount with tax added now on event i think we're good there but the function yep on event technically has functions inside of it but we should be all right and let's do this one more time this time i'm going to get fries and a drink and total boom cool commented totaled let's keep going 